folks. Archer Moreland. We got pre-owned deals that'll knock you off your feet. Tell them about it, Jeff. Over 50 cars for $1.99 a month. That's $1.99 a month. Check us out, folks. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Over 400 pre-owned cars at MorelandGM.com. That's MorelandGM.com. And if Moreland's done on the back of your car, you paid too much. Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. My name is Corey Knowles, and today is Wednesday, December 22nd. Got a few things happening today. With Santa's arrival just a few days away, children will be looking toward the skies for Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen, and friends pulling a sleigh over the rooftops. Uh, while they may not be found leading Santa's way Christmas Eve, Stoddard County lays claim to a herd of special deer of their own. Although they're not the flying variety, and none seems to be sporting a red nose, the 11 fallow deer found on the rural Puxico farm of Bonnie and Bar excuse me, Barry and Connie Caldwell are special just the same. The buck on board, Bambi, gained notoriety several weeks ago in the county when he made a quick getaway from his home and wandered all the way to an area southwest of Dexter where he was sighted by a homeowner who submitted a photo to the Daily Statesman. That effort eventually helped lead to a sighting of the deer off of Highway WW near Dudley four days later, and he was eventually recaptured. There's a full story with a whole bunch of pictures and stuff. It's really neat. It uh, shows a lot of their other animals, things along those lines. In other news, though, uh, acting on an anonymous tip, Dexter Police located stolen property this week and arrested a husband and wife who had been residing in the city limits over the past few months. According to De Detective Corey Mills of the local police department, a caller Monday told police that the couple residing at a residence in the 700 block of North Mulberry Street had warrants from Indiana for their arrests. The caller also told police they believed a four-wheel vehicle at the residence had been stolen. Both Robert and Bambi Spade are charged with receiving stolen property now. Uh, Bambi Spade was reportedly not with her husband when the items were taken, but police believe she knew of the activity and therefore faced the same charges. Uh, in weather, today going to be a high of about 39, a low of around 25, and mostly sunny skies. It's a pretty nice day out there. A uh, good chance of a white Christmas, though. It looks like we're going to have some rain turning over to snow on Friday and Christmas Eve, and hopefully hanging on until morning and we can wake up and have a nice white Christmas for a change. Also, I want to let everyone know, I think I've mentioned it already, that uh, the Bloomfield Sports Network will be broadcasting the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament in its 26th game entirety next week, beginning on Monday. I'd like for everyone to make sure and tune in if you've got kids playing, nieces, nephews, friends, family, anyone. Make sure and let your family know that it's far away, that's not on hand, where you can't go, or people that just don't want to brave the cold. Uh, it's there, and it's it's wide open for anyone that wants to to watch. Uh, you can get it on the computer, you can get it on your iPhone, you can get it anywhere you want. Uh, just go to the DailyStatesman.com website, click on the Bloomfield Sports Network, Bloomfield Wildcat Sports Network logo on the top right left hand corner of the page. Excuse me, man, I'm tumbling a lot today. Uh, just click on it and it'll take you to the player. All you gotta do is hit play and go. Uh, all the games will be archived at some point and uh, will be there and be able to be viewed at your leisure. So make sure you check it out. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in today watching our Statesman newscast. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, send me an email at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of our print edition for the stories we've talked about. A whole lot more. On that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.